but she really cannot wait till it's her turn to say something about black men. It's really funny. The way she's just sitting there smiling, chewing her fingernails, it is so obvious. And you would get so much of that if you was to actually be able to come to Germany. It's funny as hell to actually see that again. What do you feel about black men? Like, uh, do you... It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't it's, matter. It's just about... It's okay. It's black or white yeah. or yeah. how thing. Yeah. So we felt like it's a, about the character, of yeah. course. Well, face, chocolate like face. a like a fetish, almost. Yeah, like a, like That's what we call it, fetish. Yeah, they had that in the states too. I already knew I had him because there was simply no competition out there for me. But let's just look at it objectively. You had this average black American guy who now was able to choose between what he was dealing with before and somebody completely new. And let me tell you, the moment I stepped into that man's life. He really didn't know how to deal my femininity because I was not loud. I was not screaming. I was not trying to, you know, be louder than him. I didn't interrupt him because that's not something that I learned from home. If somebody would speak, and especially a man, you would let that man speak and then you would listen and then say whatever you have to say, right? So I was clean. I cooked. He didn't know what it was when a woman is actually in the room asking him, like, do you want something to drink before I got myself something to drink? Do you want something to eat? Before I started to eat my food, I would ask him, do you want to have a bite? I would come out of nowhere and just have a, a fruit bowl and just offer him some fruit. He didn't know none of this. So my husband back then, boyfriend, really thought this was a dream come true. He didn't know how to deal with none of this because all this me coming through, just being nurturing by nature, his peoples and his family didn't even do that for him. You know, like the family, there is no family unit. The average family, especially black American family has barely a family unit. You know, there is no breakfast, lunch and dinner at set times. And these are things that I introduced my husband to with my family. Can you imagine that impact that I had on him back then? So gentlemen, do not be afraid of traveling. There are so many more women out there who are willing to take care of you. It doesn't matter if they're young. It doesn't matter if they're older. They are willing to take care of you, willing to work with you, willing to be a part of your life. You don't have to deal with whatever you are dealing with back in your hometown because unfortunately, a lot of American women are lost in the delusional world that they are living in and they don't even understand that they are going to be lonely for a long time, if not for the rest of their life. They say by choice, but I don't believe them. Some of you didn't believe me when I was talking to you about German women and their love for black men. Well, listen to the next video. And also, their accent totally reminds me on the days when I was going to school and learning that proper Oxford English. Just It is so funny because that one girl in the corner, she really cannot wait till it's her turn to say something about black men. It's really funny. The way she's just sitting there smiling, chewing her fingernails, it is so obvious. And you would get so much of that if you was to actually be able to come to Germany. It's funny as hell to actually see that again. What do you feel about black men like uh do you it doesn't matter yeah. okay. it doesn't it's, matter it's just about it's okay it's black or white yeah. or yeah. how thing yeah so we feel like it's a... about the character of yeah. course yes first of all and of course <laughs> of the um, a little bit a body yeah or but face. but not that match the, yeah. the personality counts yeah that's yeah and um, what about you um I don't care at all, but I'm really into black, black men. I have my expert <laughs> <don't lie. laughs> So why why are you into black men? Like, what, 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 tell me why. Um, I don't know. I think they have like charisma and like, <laughs> but I have good experience with them, and I don't know. I have a lot of fun with them. <laughs> so only black now, not nothing else. Yeah, uh, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I asked for strength. And God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom. And God gave me problems to solve. I asked for courage. And God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for love. And God gave me troubled people to help. My prayers were answered. <laughs> if, you, if you deal with a German woman, they want to try to really pull you into their lane. That you're acceptable to the parents, that they accept you, and so on and so forth. And what they also want is, um, like the brother was speaking about already, like um, our color. 
they want children of us. This is what they also say also into our face. Like a like a fetish almost. That's what we call it fetish. Yeah, they had that in the states too. Level. Yeah. Really. What you mean? Break it. Break it down. Break it down. I mean, like. You know you, you were you did you serve in the military here? Yes. Okay, so you know at first it was a shock. It's a shock. You know, you're like, damn, you get a lot of respect. But on the other side, it's a lot of hate with it also. But they do want the chocolate babies. They want babies of color and, and curly hair. You know, and like he got good hair. You got yeah, that good hair, you know. Man, so, that's and that's a setup because if he has good hair, then what's bad hair? Yeah. Let's not forget it's history to this shit. Don't sit there and put no black woman down because you think you're better than them. You're not better than them. And this is coming from a woman that is mixed with German. Let's not forget about Afro-Germans. And this is the time that you Afro-Germans need to be stepping out. Y'all need to be stepping out. I'm going to tell you one thing. If y'all like watching movies or y'all want to learn a little something for the ones that are not open up to any spiritual gifts, Go on Netflix and watch the movie Where Hands Touch because during my spiritual awakening, I needed to learn stuff about myself. I needed to focus inward on myself. And that was one of the movies that popped up. And I'm telling you, that Afro-German woman that was treated so horribly, her mother was full white German and went through hell and back because people sat there and disguised and treated her daughter any kind of way as if she wasn't even considered German. It doesn't matter what culture you come from. History is history. And different countries and stuff, you were still treated as a slave. You were still devalued. Okay? And let me tell you something. You just ruined your whole family legacy if you were supposed to build something with that man. You know why? Because the moment that you birth a child by that man, your child is considered Afro-German. Your child is black. Your child is black. Now I said I was gonna mind my business with a lot of stuff, but my grandmother said she want me to let y'all have it. She want me to let y'all women drag her because she don't know what the hell she talking about. And when you're actually continuing that generation mixed with black culture, it's something called soul food. And down in the South as well, you know, not just in the South, but down in the South, first of all, my great, my great grandmother that was connected to Gullah Geechee culture, it's something where, yes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you get two meats, rice, you get vegetables, you get cakes, and every time she cook a meal, she make a cake. And guess what? Down here in the South, the women still had to go out in them fields and work and everything else. The problem is now today, women are tired. They are tired from dealing with the black man and the black men are coming up speaking about it. Before you open your mouth, you should have just listened to even what the black men are saying out their mouth. A lot of us women over here losing our edges still trying to hold on to black men. You are incorrect. A black man that's hurt is nothing you could do. He going to say whatever he could to basically get in good graces getting your good graces and you're gonna think that oh you're doing everything right no and to that man fully heal he will never value any woman don't matter the, the color of her skin or what culture she from none of that stuff matter and for a lot of y'all black women that's coming up here talking about you know what she might be right no she not right she is not right because a lot of y'all been so hurt that y'all let men brainwash y'all. You let it get to your head, your mind, and you didn't sit time to sit down and take time to actually learn about yourself and learn about that person and actually see why you feel that way. Cause you could get in the kitchen still tired. 
from working a job and make a meal. Because even if that man not around, your kids got to eat. Your kids got to eat. It's up to you if you want to do it. A man could be going through something hard and you could be you could be staying to to that man and doing everything you can. He have death in the family or anything. You got that meal prepared. You got that wine ready. You giving him his space. When that man want to go out, you allowing that man to go out. And you think that's good enough. I mean, y'all can't take matters in y'all own hands. She gonna have to learn for herself. But at the same time, we need to give her some cheat codes other than just sitting there shooting back towards her. And when I say cheat codes, I'm talking about when that man ain't answering his phone. Because a lot of people of different coaches think that, oh... The man is just busy. Just give him space. When he ain't answering his phone, nine times out of ten, he with that he with a black woman, the black woman that you've been sleeping on, or he with another German woman. And he's gonna play with your emotions too. You're gonna feel what he feels, even if you didn't feel nothing before you met him. Nothing you do, if you have that mindset you do, nothing you do is going to make him happy. And him knowing that you done created a video saying, saying that stuff, he know he got his feet and hands tied around your damn neck. He done captured you. He got your soul. And any black man sitting there probably... They taking up for the black women. They coming out, speaking out, but they like, yeah, he got her ass. He got her good. The Lulu like a motherfucker. The Lulu. The black woman is going to do everything that you think that you're doing ten times better. But when a man ain't ready for that or he hurt or he want multiple women, and he ain't ready to really settle down, he gonna do what he wants to do. And he gonna make every woman that comes up under his, uh, his what, his, under his arm, feel special, feel like something, till he ready to knock her ass down. That's how it works. That's how it works. And I pray that if you have a daughter that you create a good relationship with her. Because she's going to have a hard time as an Afro-German. Being understood. She's going to have a very, very hard time. But I say go look at that movie, With Hands Touch. And learn something. And not only that, that man has a black mother. You just spoke about that man's mother. People really need to get it together. But I love that everybody coming out and dragging her ass. But those Afro Germans need to come and win their spot. It's time for y'all to step up. I got chills. I ain't mad. I got chills, and that's my grandmother coming through me. Y'all Afro-Germans, it's time for y'all to come out and speak up. Because some of y'all still fighting. The black, everybody that's just black, call himself black, that's not in Germany or where else feel still that they are being looked over but let me tell you about the german black woman they are going through it still and y'all need to speak up 
people will see you. They will notice you. They will admire you. They will love you. The time is now. Okay, so I have been seeing all these people posting about the whole German woman and black man thing, American black man. And this is what I got to say about that. You know, at the end of the day, love who you who you love. You you did. I you know I've obviously my kids are by a black man, but I have dated outside my race. I don't love who you want to love, but obviously I'm a black woman. And so I can speak on being a black woman, dating black men, and just our history. She talk about all the things that she does, but like I've seen many people say, you can't really speak on how a, a black woman is when you're not a black woman, when you haven't walked in a black woman's shoes, when you really don't know the history of black families and black marriages. What you don't know is, or what a lot of people fail to realize is that black women, all the things that she was saying, how she is, black women have been that to their men, to their men since the beginning of time. Okay, black women have been that since the beginning of time. And not only have we been <clears throat> caterers to our men and servants to our men and our men's business partners and lovers and all this we we have also been our men's protectors we have also protected our men you get what i'm saying <clears throat> when you look at history a black woman would give her body to her master so that her man wouldn't get beat you see what i'm saying the black woman was standing the gap for her man during those times when black men was getting beat, the black woman was out there with them. Like, you're going to have to beat me too. Black women have stu stood beside their men and fought and died. Um, when, when men were going through things back in the time, getting beat, coming home, beat if they weren't killed, who took care of them and got them back up to health? cleaning sores and, and, and black eyes and busting nose and broken nose. Who cared for them? Black women have had to be both soft and hard at the same time. And you see what I'm saying? So, and this passed down through generations. That That's real. Things are passed down through generations. And still now, women are black women you have black women out there that really care for their men and all that that don't stop the thing is and they talk about oh you know men cheating and all this to be here all those types of things a man gonna cheat no matter how good you are to him and my thing with her is and that's great if you that way with your husband but one thing i've learned from my grandmother my grandmother used to tell me don't get up here trying to put yourself high up on the horse and high on the pedestal like you be, uh, the best thing is the first slice of light bread because while you're doing all that talking and, and doing this and that and the third it could be something going on in your house that you know nothing about that will eventually come out so while she's trying to act like she's God's gift to the black man and that there's no competition baby I don't know why people come in competition with black women anyway like what why 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 are you competing with us we're not looking this is not the olympics we don't care we genuinely don't care but while you're doing all that talking you better make sure without a shadow of a doubt your man 100 because i've seen both it don't matter what race black hispanic german whatever i've seen those women that get black men be cheated on and done wrong too so make sure while you're doing all that talking that you know without a shadow of a doubt your man is 100 and he better stay 100 with all that talking you doing he bet you better hope he stay 100 or you're gonna be highly upset and highly embarrassed but you know i seen a guy was saying that um that black men you know that she was she was 
right he didn't like it but she was right and if black women don't get it together men they're gonna black men are gonna go start a new community with those women you see what if you want to look at it and know in that aspect you see what happened to our community black women we have been those things for hundreds of years to our men for hundreds of years and we fought with them like not fought with them but we had to fight it was us against the world you get what i'm saying like it was the black couple against the world and look and look look what happened so they go ahead and start them new communities go ahead and see how it turned out see how it turned out they're gonna have a family they're gonna have a family with you and they're gonna have a family with the woman down the street like in the movie fence that was a real thing back in that time it was like the 50s or whatever yeah and black women still kept their mouth closed and still served even through it all and stayed married even through it all so go ahead start the new communities have fun bye yeah, bro. her message was not that black women should treat black men better she said all right if you know my content you know that i throw no shade towards uh either or anybody you know what i'm saying so there's no shade towards this uh content creator but i keep hearing this conversation over and over and over again so what i did was i went back and looked at the video and as i watched the video i heard what she said i heard what she could have meant but i also heard what she said directly she never said anything about black women she just happened to be with a black man. And what she said was anybody who who he was dealing with prior to her was no competition. So you would then have to be like, OK, was he exclusively dating black women before he started dating the German woman? Or is she saying more so American women as a as a whole? Right. So what we do as black people is we do a lot of projecting, right? If anything sounds remotely like they are targeting either side, whether it's black men or black women, if it sounds like it or sounds close to it, we'll pick it up and we'll run with it. We're not looking at context. We're not listening and we're, and we're just responding out of hurt and anger and my thing is this if it don't apply to you right if you know that you treat black men right if you know that you treat your treat black women right or just women in general or your men in general if you know that then it wouldn't bother you you could just scroll past it anybody can have an opinion anybody can talk about anything we can't we think that we're above criticism for some reason how can this German woman sit here and talk about us like that or whatever like that? She can. Observations are free. And criticism criticism is not inherently bad. But it, it, it becomes a problem when we're not able to really take the criticism. We're rather... Like you said, like like the, the guy said in this video, we'll take information and we'll diverge it away from us and say, well, what about you? And start pointing fingers. And it's not a gender issue. But I do understand what he's saying. Us as men and as leaders, we need to take that first step, which I would agree. But I also would, I also would challenge that any competent individual, regardless of your sex or gender, can step up and think better and respond better we have given this woman so much attention so many uh uh content creators are getting rich off of this topic from what some random woman thinks on who uh is from another side of the country and got nothing to do with you we are giving these conversations life and we're not even having the conversation in a, in a healthy and equitable way. We're pointing fingers. So that part I agree. But the part where I don't agree is that division where it's like, okay, um, black men, black men need to do better. Black women need to do better. 
Like, no, no. Us as a collective, us as a community, we're trash right now. There's a lot of things that we can do better. So instead of trying to point blame, we need to take that criticism. We need to put that mirror on ourselves. We need to look and see what it is that we could be doing better collectively instead of saying, you go first. That's why I say we need a group of conscious individuals to start responding and thinking and doing that introspection and that self-work. We need more conscious people doing that. And then we wouldn't be responding to crap like this because it wouldn't apply. But that's my rant for today. Um, yeah. Uh, so earlier my sister was like, hey, I want to send you this video, but I know you're easily triggered. And I was just like, no, go ahead and send it. So when I opened the video, I guess it was of like the German lady talking about all these wonderful things that she did and how she keeps her man and how he was so excited to um, leave the black community. I don't know. To that, I just want to say it's 2024. Like, if you we have access to the internet, TikTok, Instagram, like books, audiobooks that read to you while you're driving, like nothing she said is new and is creative. So I'm pretty sure a lot of women know to do those things. A lot of times the issue that we have as black women is we are so underappreciated that we don't want to do those things. We don't want to. So we have to find a man that is worthy of that. We're not just going to say, oh, a black man. Oh, I'm going to do all of these things for him. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Sorry. What I also want to hit on is the first thing or the first thought process that came into my mind. And I have said this before to like family and friends. The benefits that you guys speak so highly about when it comes to other races, the femininity, the girliness, she's spoiled. You know, she comes from a great family. Like she knows how the dynamic works with a woman and a man. That is the work of a non-black man. He instilled those types of things into his woman and his culture. He set the example by being the provider, being the lead, and putting himself in a position where he can have authority over his women to the point where they are submissive and they know how to treat a man. Now, the loud, obnoxious, stereotypical, terrible black woman is the work of a man of color. So it seems to me that most of you guys, uh, other races of women when they get on these platforms and brag about how they're so much greater you both want to run into the sunset off of the work of another man <laughs> you know what i'm saying that this had nothing to do with a man of color your father who i guess assume is german must have raised you in this type of way and here you are you know I'm, you know, I don't want to say it, but i'm a perspective person i think that's just something we should all keep in mind moving forward because it's not going to benefit us to keep on reciting the same old tired narrative. We need to address the root of the problem and come up with solutions for the future because I am a black woman, a woman of color who is in a relationship with a man of color. I am in a great relationship with him. I cook for this man every night. I serve this man a plate. I respect him. I love him. I go hard for him. Like, so to say that we don't know how to do that or that sign is still to us is crazy. And it's really just tired at this point. We're just tired. So I'm watching that video with that German girl talking and comparing herself and talking about competition when it comes to black women and black men. And I just want to know what the fuck, what was the reason, sis? Like, what the fuck was the reason? Who are you in competition with? Because I don't see any videos made by any black woman thinking about you. We fucking mind our business, literally. We are over here minding our business and worrying about what we need to do either for ourselves or for our motherfucking community. And y'all are always attacking black women. Our names stay in your mouth. Where the fuck was your black husband at to stop you from pressing that motherfucking record button? He's speaking on situations and family dynamics that you know nothing about. There was this video on this here app and the young lady was saying how being a black woman is very traumatizing. It's a very traumatic experience, even though, you know, we love being black women. And I agree because unprovoked and without harassment, we get attacked for no fucking reason. Certain black men and the retarded bitches that love them keep our names in their fucking mouths. And she's sitting there talking about competition where there is none. And that's something that we both can agree on.
anybody give a fuck about you or that black man that took his ass to motherfucking Germany to find your retarded ass? out of a whole YouTube video where I was talking about how my basic daily activities have impressed and impacted my husband's daily routine. I mean, it is just what it is. And you know what? A lot of women out there should apply that knowledge that I'm trying to give to you for free. Tell me, where did you hear me say that black American women are no competition? I was not even talking about black American women in particular. I never said anything like, that I am better than them. I never said anything like I have better qualities than a black American woman. No, I'm always talking about modern Western women in general. And Before I say what I have to say, I have to say that I don't think that she actually said black Americans were not competition. I didn't hear that part or did I miss it? Did anybody else hear it? Come in the comment section. Anyways, but if she did this at the very end of the video would have been my opinion but i don't think i heard that i think she just thought she had no competition and if she thinks she's beautiful enough and has what it takes to not have competition and feel like she doesn't have competition so be it i did not hear her say anything about black women but if she did <laughs> hey so they didn't think we do that. They don't think that black women are also feminine. Maybe not all of them, because we do have some very, very masculine women. But then being feminine hasn't changed black men. Bringing the food to the table and feeding it to them has not changed them. You not talking loud has not changed them. You being extra feminine has not changed them. I can tell you for a fact that my grandma would always make a plate for my grandfather. And in Haiti, the children eat after the adults have received their plates. And the adults always get their plates first. The women are, my grandma is very feminine. I mean, she don't own not a pair of pants. She never owned not one pair of pants. All she wears skirt. She always looked nice. As nice as she could living in Haiti and my grandfather was very masculine he went out bring the bread and she stayed home she took care of all her children but that was during that time and even that couldn't keep my grandfather as a how do you say it? oh and she never yelled she never raised her voice but she was stern when she had to be because a lot of time men, yes, men are men, but you cannot, tr you, you cannot trust everything they say all the time. So when it came to that, yes, you think being submissive is going to keep a black man? Look at Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. Wasn't she the submissive? <laughs> I don't know how to do the, the Asian accent. Her, you know, hello, honey, submissive. But that. Then they keep the man that she changed her mind about having children and gave him a baby only for him to leave her submissive behind. But you know what took me out is when she said that she's no competition for black or black, excuse me, because you're feminine or you're the only feminine woman in the world. You mean to tell me no black women are feminine? It's the competition part that got me because, excuse me, what? Ma'am, like we can't compete with you because of what you're German? Girl, have several seats, okay? <laughs> have several seats. I mean, I was like, okay, girl, have him. Have him, you know, all the other information. I'm like, girl, if that is what he has found, the man's heart is happy, take him. We are, we as black women, as a collective, we have released him to you. And all the other German white girls who want a black man don't, don't know why they want a black man. Don't know why fetishism, but don't know why they want a black man. They just want one because they've heard <laughs> some good things. I mean, they were like, oh, personality, of course. But what do you want in the personality? Because there's good personality, there's bad type of personality. What do you want? Which one do you want? Oh, 
personality, okay. But we also enjoy, you know, while they're twirling their hair. We also enjoy this other thing, <laughs> giggling. As if it's like, girl, have him. <laughs> and bring a couple of them for your cousins too. You know? Because at the end of the day, all the feminine of the end of the world, all the feminine, feminine, I can't even talk. All the feminine energy in the world could not keep change a black man if he's already embedded in the behavior. Because don't get me wrong, not all of them are the way that they are. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Having children all over the place, don't take care of their own children, and will try to overstep you even though they're not paying any bill in the house. And try to dumb you down, make you feel small, just to make themselves feel better. Now, not, a, not my experience because, you know, not my experience, but I have seen people who have told their experience and also I know people in real life that have experienced stuff like this. So I can speak on that. So if you want that, you want the black man plus that extra package, I pray to God though that you find a good one <laughs> because there's some of them out there. I pray to God that you all find a good one. The best bunch we have. I pray to God you find them. But how do I say this? A snake doesn't change its what how do you even say the saying? A man don't change. Okay? A man do not change. You can wear the highest heel, the longest you know, a train robe with a train that, that, you know, you know what I mean. Wear the longest robe and the highest heel and cook for him day and night for the rest of your life. He's going to get tired of eating and tired of seeing you in that sexy robe and also in that high heel. Before you know he's going to be next door. Yeah, so... That's my take on it. I agree on some stuff that she said, but there are things that I just cannot agree with, sis. Agreeing on the fact that black men love y'all, that's the truth. Agreeing on the fact that, I don't know. I mean, not, there's not really a lot of, that I agreed on. I can't say it wasn't everything. Like, I didn't agree on everything. I agreed on some parts, but maybe one or two things. But that's about it. So take them. <laughs>